Hi, it's Rod, and this one's called Get Behind the Veil with Jesus. It's like this is a How to Get Behind the Veil with Jesus manual, if you want to read it. If you love Jesus, you'll love his words. As you read the Bible, you find out that there was like a veil separating the people from God in the Old Testament temple. And uh, we have to understand that Jesus came to take that veil away from us. So we could boldly enter into the Holy of Holies. It's like Jesus is our promised land and we have to decide whether we want to go into his promised land and enjoy him now or not. We remove this veil that we're born with that separates us from Jesus from birth or whatever through starting to learn his truth about how to remove that veil how to be in his presence and that sort of journey into Jesus our promised lands holy of holy presence or something it also says sometimes that the holy of holies is like heaven or something or that uh, where Jesus is is heaven or you sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that's where we're supposed to be dwelling so it's through trying to learn Jesus' way to take the veil down and be in his presence the way the Bible teaches to go into the holy of holies It says in Hebrews 10 verse 20 that by his death Jesus opened up the way through the curtain through his flesh to God. Sometimes you think of it like a Wizard of Oz analogy like there's this curtain up and you can't see God or Jesus behind it. And it's, unless you get that curtain taken away Jesus' right way, then you can't see Jesus, you can't be with Jesus, you can't be in the Holy of Holies. There's a way to get rid of that veil, get behind the veil, to be with Jesus. He wants to teach us how to do it if we want to learn it from him. We don't want to learn it from him, we stay behind the veil. We don't get close to Jesus in the Holy of Holies. So, the truth about how to get behind the veil with Jesus is to learn to get saved through the cross of Jesus. Jesus died to take all our sins away and to die in the flesh. And we're supposed to be become one with him in his death and resurrection. So that when he died, my sinful flesh nature died when he was resurrected into a spiritual heavenly experience I can be resurrected into a heavenly spiritual experience if I'm in Christ if I'm in his death burial and resurrection like Romans 6 talks about in Christ and it's almost like when Jesus sees us he sees a reflection of himself we're supposed to be conformed into the image of Christ so it's not like Jesus is seeing sinful rod or something. Jesus is seeing like a reflection of himself. I am in Christ. I have Christ's righteousness upon me. I am as righteous as Christ by faith. One thing that will keep us behind the veil from Jesus' holy presence is to think that we have to do good works to earn entrance into his presence. The Bible says that our good works are like filthy rags. They're not going to open any veil. But if we trust in Jesus' good works, his death on the cross to take our sins away, his free gift of righteousness, the blood that cleanses us from all sin, then he just sees a perfectly righteous person. He says, come on in. He doesn't see like a prodigal son in a pig pen with sin all over him. Stay out of my house. 
he sees somebody who's as white as snow, who's just like him, as righteous as he is. And he says, oh, I'm so glad you chose to believe in the truth. I'm so glad you believed in my cross to take your sins away. I'm so glad that you sought to draw close to me and I draw close to you. I'm so glad that you decided to get behind the veil with me. Because it's available to us. But he's not going to force us to believe in this truth about how to get behind the veil with him. If we want to learn this stuff, he can teach us this stuff. He's trying to say, read the Bible, I'll teach you how to get behind the veil with me. If we want to read the Bible, let the Holy Spirit guide us into all truth as we read it. It's just that we're in a spiritual war with Satan. He's trying to stop us. He's trying to get us to believe lies and sin against God and keep us behind the curtain or something so we don't get behind the curtain to see Jesus or be with Jesus. So we got to not only learn what the truth is about how to get into Jesus' presence behind the veil, we also have to learn that we're in a spiritual warfare where Satan is trying to stop us from doing that. It's like Satan trying to tell Eve that uh, the creation is more important to her than the Creator. And to rebel and sin against God is the best choice for her. And that caused her to get more farther away from God, like behind the veil, so she didn't see God in her sin. God sent Jesus to try to take that separation away from us. Sort of like we're born in a simple flesh nature from Adam that can't really see God in that condition. God made a way to rent the veil, to get rid of the veil that keeps God hidden from us or something through our sin, through our flesh. If we believe in it, Jesus took the veil away. Jesus took our sinful flesh nature curtain away. Jesus helped us to be filled with the Holy Spirit so we can commune with God spiritually. So we could be with Him in heavenly places. We could be behind the veil with Jesus in the Holy of Holies. Without any shame, without any fear, without any depression or anger. We found what we're looking for in Jesus' presence as a fullness of joy. Trusting in God gives you perfect peace. It's like when you get into Jesus' presence, the things of this world grow strangely dim. All you see is Him. The things of the world grow strangely dim, and all you see is Him. In the Holy of Holies, in Jesus' presence, behind the veil. It's available to us. It says we can come boldly into Jesus' presence through faith in His blood to cleanse us from all of our sins. We can sit with Jesus in heavenly places. We can choose to walk in the flesh and be blind to Jesus or walk in the Spirit and have our eyes wide open to Him. It says in the Bible, if you seek God with all your heart, you'll find Him. It says in the Bible, if you lack wisdom, ask God for it. It's like we've got to ask Jesus questions. How do I get into your presence? How do I get this curtain pulled away or something? How do I win my spiritual war? What's the truth about getting in your presence, Jesus? Get an answer back and start believing in it. It's not through my good works. It's through your good works on the cross, Jesus. Jesus just wants to hear a thank you, not to look at my good works or something. It's through humility, not pride. It's like if you try to get into Jesus' presence through doing good works, he'll say, I'm not going to let you in. You could never do enough good works to get in here, Rod. You've got to trust in my perfect righteousness, my perfect blood to cleanse you from all sin if you're ever going to get into my presence. So it's through building our faith in God's way to enter into his presence or to be in Jesus' presence. God's way to get behind the veil, to lift the veil. It says that the veil is removed when you turn to Jesus. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 16. It says we can behold the glory of Jesus with unveiled faces like Moses had a veiled face. It's so awesome, this salvation experience, if we want to really believe in it. 
It's so awesome to understand the truth through reading the Bible, through asking God questions, getting answers back. What sins are preventing me from going through the veil? What truth do I need to use to fight off Satan to bring this curtain away? And it's basically just understanding God's way to get behind the veil. The truth about how to get behind the veil will get you behind the veil. If you put faith in it. And if you're having a hard time with faith because Satan's trying to get you to doubt instead, then you got to be like the demon-possessed child's father and say, Help my unbelief. Help me to know what the truth is about how to be in your presence, Jesus, and help me to have faith in it. And then when Satan tries to stop you at the curtain from going into the presence of Jesus, like a Wizard of Oz analogy, you just have to say to Satan, No, Satan, Jesus made a way so I can go through this curtain. Everything you're telling me, Satan, is lies. Satan will tell you all kinds of lies to keep you out of the presence of Jesus. You're not good enough to go in to see Jesus. Like the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy, you're not good enough. Yeah, go get the witch's broom first. It's a lie. God didn't make us to do good works to get into his presence. He made us to believe in Jesus' good works to get us in instead. Trusting in Jesus, not ourselves, to get behind the veil with Jesus. So Satan will try to stop us from believing the truth to get behind the veil with Jesus. As we read the Bible, as we ask God questions, as we get answers back, we understand the truth about how to get behind the veil with Jesus, and then we can get behind the veil with Jesus if we put our faith in that. Satan will try to say to us stuff like, uh, look at this wicked world, how could Jesus be good? You don't want to be near him anyways. Or, Jesus doesn't make anybody happy. you got to try to get some created fleshly sinful pleasures to be happy. Unless you think Jesus is most important and you're seeking to get close to him, you don't get close to him. Like the greatest commandment, love God with all your heart, your mind, and soul, and strength, then it says, search for God with all of your heart. When you get to the point where I want you, Jesus, more than the things of the world, creations, or idols, or whatever, then he lets you in. When you sort of fulfill his requirements. Learn the requirements, fulfill them, let the veil disappear, and enjoy being with Jesus behind the veil, and fight Satan off. Temptation is Satan tries to stop you for a while, then he goes away. If you keep resisting, the curtain will open, and Satan will run away. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Believe what the devil's saying, and he'll stay close to you, and keep a curtain up between you and God so you can't see God. It's the truth that sets you free from the veil separating you from Jesus. And we have to like have a correct, reverent fear of him, a correct, reverent fear of the dangers of sin. Sin separates us from God. Repentance of sin brings us closer to God. It's like Satan's trying to tempt us to think that the things of the world are more important than Jesus. Go after them instead. Instead of saying, no, I want Jesus that i got to seek him and find him behind this curtain. No, Satan. I'm going to press through this curtain and your lies until I get to Jesus. <laughs> Enjoy him behind the veil. So it's like Satan like, pulls up this distraction curtain. Look at how evil and suffering the world is. Jesus can't be good. Look at your sins. You're not doing enough good works to get in there. Forget about trying to get close to Jesus today. Just try to make yourself happy with the world. Don't look to God to protect you. Try to protect yourself. Go get a gun. I don't need a gun. I need God to protect me. You just got to keep fighting Satan off. He's just a liar. He's been speaking to you since you were born. You, you got to learn the truth to fight him off and start winning the spiritual war. So you can win the spiritual war with Satan, so you can get into the presence of God, so you can start to believe the truth and stop believing the lies that keep you separated from Jesus behind the veil. When Jesus is most important to you, when you seek him with all of your heart, then the veil parts. When you fill the requirements, it's not by my good works, it's by your good works, Jesus. It's through your blood, Jesus. You can make me as righteous as you are. 
by faith. Jesus says, wow, I like that. Uh, you're giving me thanks, like communion, for what I did for you. Not trying to think about what you can do for me to get in there. And that helps you to win the war against Satan, trying to stop you from being in Jesus' presence behind the veil. Like Jesus' presence is like the promised land. It's like the giants try to stop us from going in. <laughs> Satan's demons or something. You just got to say, no, Satan. Jesus is perfect. Jesus is in control. Jesus can help me through this evil and suffering world. Jesus is good all the time. I want to be with him. It's like Satan trying to tempt Jesus not to be in Father God's presence. Don't be close to Father God, Jesus, in the wilderness. Do your own will, not God's will, Jesus. To try to separate Jesus from the presence of God. Jesus said, no, Satan, I'd rather be in the presence of God than be king of this world or something. I'd rather obey God than sin against God. So, it's sort of like we're behind this black curtain veil or something. Jesus is behind it. Satan's trying to point our eyes on sin or suffering or evil and saying, Jesus ain't good, don't bother going near him. Or Jesus doesn't exist because he's not stopping all this evil and suffering or something. Jesus wants us to suffer sometimes for our good. And we have to learn the truth, get saved, learn God's way to get behind the veil with Jesus through the Bible, start to put our faith in it, understand the spiritual war. Resist the devil in his lies. And then we can have the veil to Jesus open and we can see him. We can walk in and be with him. Come boldly into the presence of Jesus through the veil, through the blood of Jesus. So that's a bit about get behind the veil with Jesus.